Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Today the final cards for Titans expansion were revealed and those were the warrior cards. Now we have the full warrior set for Titans revealed and oh boy, warrior is getting one of the more interesting sets definitely for this expansion and Contra Warrior seems to be making a comeback. So I have high hopes for this expansion. These are the warrior cards for the expansion. We have Furious Furnace, 2 mana 1 3 mech, magnetic, also damages minions next to whomever this attacks. So that would kind of go into Menagerie Warrior. And then in Menagerie Warrior, with all those amalgams, you can just turn them into cleave minions. Pretty sweet stuff. Then we have Smelt, give a random minion in your hand, plus 3 plus 3, lose 3 armor to do it again. Okay, some potential hand buffs. Bellowing Flames, 3 mana, deal 5 damage to a minion, Forge, then deal 5 damage split among all enemy minions, Fire Spell. That's quite impressive. Actually, one of the cards with Forge that I actually look forward to playing, because overall the Forge mechanic has not impressed me so far. Obviously the Theory Crafting livestreams are coming, and that's going to be the first chance to actually play with the cards a little bit, and we'll see what happens with Forge then, but so far I haven't been very impressed by Forge cards, but this in Warrior, you Forge it on turn 2, you play it on turn 3, you deal overall 10 damage to the board, and that probably just clears it on turn 3, so... I like that. Steam Guardian, Battle Cry Draw Spell, reduce the cost of fire spell in your hand by one and elemental. Okay, could find some uses, maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, drawing, reducing the cost, that's kind of nice. And then again, a three mana for three, three isn't that great. So we'll see. But then Stone Skin Armor, three mana, three, four. Battle Cry, if your armor changes this turn, draw two cards. So if you have either been able to use an armor card or you have a, like a weapon equipped and you have attacked into something and lost some armor, draw two cards. That is a sweet card. Craftsman's Hammer, four mana, three, three. After your hero attacks and kills a minion, gain four armor. Okay, potentially useful, although I guess the two mana weapon should still be better. And then we have the four mana pirate competing with that. So I'm not completely certain whether I would actually go for that one. And then, of course, Cascor the Titan is there. Minotaur, another new card from today. 6 mana 5 5 rush. Whenever this minion deals damage, gain that much armor. Then, if you can hand buff it, then it becomes bigger. Then it rushes into something, you just gain tons and tons and tons of armor. Wow. Trial by Fire, summon 5 1 1 Valkyr with rush. When one dies, give the others plus 1 plus 1. So, effectively, if you can kill them all off, clearing the board, you have a 1 1 a 2 2 3 3 4 4 and 5 5. From that one, less if you can't kill off them all. Then Odin, Prime Designate. Odin. Odin is the card that's going to make Contra Warrior a thing again. 8 mana 8 8, battle cry for the rest of the game. After a hero gains armor, they gain that much attack for that turn. And you could have lots of combinations with Odin, obviously, you could have stuff like big hand buffs on Minotauran, and then they rush and gain tons and tons of armor. There's still the Tidal Revenant, the 8 mana minion, that deals damage and gives you armor, that turns into bigger than a Pyroblast, potentially. The main question is, how do you make sure that you can actually play Odin? How do you find Odin from your deck? And that might be the main deck building limitation, because I think you might want to run something like Tail and Fordring, draw your highest cost minion, and then you would only want to have Odin at 8 or higher cost, if you went for that line. You can also try to dread Shodan up and surf in lead so that you can switch cards from your hand into your deck. And there are some ways that you can try to look for it, but Talon is the only card that can actually tutor specifically Odin with specific deck construction. But overall, very, very impressive set for Warrior. Control Warrior clearly has been in Blizzard's mind when making this warrior set and things look pretty good for Contra Warrior. I've been thinking about that Contra Warrior quite a bit. I think Contra Warrior could be built with 30 cards. Here we have Talon Fordring, we have Astral of Blood Sworn. Warrior has so many good cards that 30 cards is quite tight fit. I have to say that I don't know if I can are these right ones there would be there would be much more good candidates than just 30. But maybe we can make it work with 30. Brief package Lots and lots of armor cards. Odin. Ways to tutor Odin. Just throw in an Astro out there as well and boom. That's that's the idea. 
remove all pieces and go. Alternatively, it could be possible to build the same idea in an Excel form with Prince Renatal. Then you could have room to add some stuff like Sir Finley. I think Samurai Tolvir is a card that I would want to experiment with, especially in Renatal decks where you kind of want to draw because you have so many cards in your deck. Samurai Tolvir is a 3-5 taunt that draws a card when it's attacked, so potentially a way to get some cards going. Room for Sword Eaters. I'm not sure if Sword Eater is better than the Remix Tuning Folk or not, considering the 30 card deck. For 40 card deck, you can use both. I've added Bladestorm here. Bladestorm has been a little bit of disappointment recently, but obviously it depends on the meta game. <laughs> I've added Asvid on the Grand Shield. I just like Asvid on a lot, but I mean, I'm not sure if its performance is really, really strong enough. And Nelly the Great Treasure. Why not add some, some more win conditions as well? But yeah, either way, 30 cards or 40 cards, Odin based Contra Warrior decks, lots of defensive tools, lots of armor gain. Once they get Odin on the board, then all of that armor gain is going to turn also into damage. And that's just, just going to bring Contra Warrior back. There's so much armor gain that you might be able to frustrate aggressive decks. And I look forward to seeing how all of this is going to work in action. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.